Hey, Doombots. Welcome back to the TCP Milestone series. This is part four, and as of right now, the last part of the TCP Milestone series. Um, and just a quick recap as to why. Uh, the first million is your bearings in the game, working on high impact things that you will be uh, using for the entirety of the game and just kind of progressing. The second million is uh, finding your way, unlocking additional legendary characters, progressing through U6 um, and some of the Greek raids, and of course, hunting down uh, Dark Dimension 1 and 2. At about 3 million, you've probably conquered Dark Dimension. You've you know, entered this point when you might be making some progress in U7 or whatever the most recent high-end ultimus fight is and you've definitely moved to a point where you're, you're starting to uh, worry more about how strong your characters are than chasing the next unlock now oh there will always be a chase there will always be a new unlock another legendary something as the game progresses but once you hit four million as of right now this is early 2020 you You've entered the true end game. You have reached level cap in World of Warcraft. You have started farming rifts in Diablo. You know, you're 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 done as far as what you can do to grow your roster through unlocking and to some extent even gearing. Uh, and now it's about width. It's about how many awesome things you have as opposed to which awesome things you have, if that makes sense. And the reason I do group 4 million uh, with every other thing above it for right now is the only major difference between a roster that's uh, 4 million and 5 million, which is my current TCP, a little bit higher, uh, 6 million, 8 million is number of these things that you have unlocked with high gear and high red stars you know the three things i mentioned in the last video that's it that's that's the difference so at, at four million you may have two three four really like diesel teams and at five million that number might be six or seven and at six million that number might be eight or nine and so on and so forth and you kind of understand the point here the point is if you're not spending excess money on red stars which i wouldn't recommend anyway if you're not uh, in a top 10 alliance and i don't mean top 100 i mean top 10 you have very limited resources and you don't get to just take a character to seven star the day they come out and you probably aren't you know ripping open 60 to 70 red star orbs a month just to see how much uh, rng might be on your side so you get the right upgrade on the right character it's just not there that's the difference and that's something i want you to understand after watching this video is your progress kind of comes to i don't want to say a halt but a, a snail's pace at around 4 million. I'll tell you, I hit 4 million uh, live on stream, we'll say X months ago, because X doesn't matter from this conversation. Three months later, I hit 5 million. Right now, I'm at 5.3. That's about maybe three weeks after, and I haven't spent a dime. The growth that your roster will have as time progresses uh, is kind of falls off you see the first million the second million that was when it was like new and exciting that was when unlocking a brand new legendary meant you had a whole new team you can use now it fell off a little bit and that's why you'll notice i don't have any favorited characters i did look at rosters for this i looked at rosters from four million and five million and six million and that's where i'm coming up with this statement there isn't a difference there, there, it, there isn't. The, the difference is how much of your resources you have. Not even how much you've invested, how much you have. Whether you got it by hook or by crook, by, by spending, by being carried, by working really hard, by 100%ing raids all the time, your roster growth no longer is stick-to-itiveness. It's no longer uh, how much 
you know, building the right team. It's now just an issue of, did you get the right red stars? Uh, have you maxed out your, the stars and the characters you chose to, or you have been? And, um, you know, how, how quickly do you work on new characters as they're released? That's what the 4 million plus milestone is going to look like for you. So just take a quick look at my roster. Now my roster is 5 million. You're going to probably notice if you're at 4 million that the only difference between my roster and yours is numbers. That's it. You might say, well, Tony, you have a seven star, six red saber tooth. And I'd say, yes, you probably have a seven star saber tooth or a six star saber tooth. And maybe you don't have the red stars on them. That's why my saber tooth is here. He's not here because I've worked on him. He's here because he has six red stars. That's what brought him up. Invisible woman, sinister. You probably have these characters as I kind of scroll through. Maybe not Black Bolt. But you'll say, yeah, you know what? Our rosters do look the same. The major difference now, as opposed to 1 million, 2 million, and 3 million, was what you didn't have. Now it's not an issue of what you don't have anymore, guys. It's an issue of how strong are they. And that's kind of why I'm grouping everything together. You now have the opportunity to work on literally anything you want. I have some friends, some alliance mates who work on teams for war exclusively. They bring an entire offensive war team up to gear tier 12 or 13, depending on the team, and then they move on to the next one. And that's their progress. That's what they're finding enjoyment in. Uh, me, I bring an entire team up to about 200k before I move on to the next one. And I kind of focus on uh, key characters, but that's for Dark Dimension 3. I'm not going out of my way. You can kind of see where my Dark Dimension 3 is going to look like, or at least the first characters I'm going to try to bring in, you know? Um, and there's really no high priority on that. It, it's At this point, it's about where you want your growth to be. So once you hit that 4 million, first of all, congratulations. Uh, it means you've stuck with this game, you've played it for a while, or you spent a ton of money and uh, you enjoy the game. That's why you spend money, because you wouldn't spend money in a game you don't like, right? So uh, congratulations to you uh, for hitting 4 million, and hopefully uh, you will enjoy 5, 6, 7, and the rest uh, as much as it took you to get here. But make the game yours now. You don't have the rigmarole. Now, some people tend to say I'm bored because I, there's no new character to unlock. And and maybe, but now you have the opportunity to work on characters and teams that you want to, to do the thing you want to do. Do you want to go 12 for 12 in a war? Or, you know, do you want to make sure that you're just absolutely crushing your lanes in raid? Work on those characters, work on those teams. You know, if you want to make if you want to be the guy or girl in your alliance that is absolutely crushing Gamma Raid because you went all in on the Kree minions, go for it. You know, this is where the game stops being a paint by numbers and do this, do this, do this and starts becoming a open experience. And some players don't like that experience. Some players like to chase the next thing or. You know, we can use Black Bolt as an example. Black Bolt came out and some players were upset because Black Bolt was gated behind, you know, a paywall, we'll say, or uh, because the characters needed for Black Bolt uh, were as guardians, which were already high impact. And, and, you know, I get that. I do. But on the other side, I unlocked Black Bolt, and I'm very happy to have him, and uh, I enjoy using him. I saved resources to make sure that uh, I was able to bring him up pretty high relatively quickly, about 10 days or so, but that was a lot of work I wasn't putting into other characters. Once I had gotten him to gear tier 13, uh, I, I'm done. You know, like I, I don't have to do anything else for him. I could probably work on his entire team, but um, I don't want to. <laughs> That's the truth. I just don't want to right now. Just like uh, the other thing I wanted to show is uh, my Blitz teams. And that's because most of my Blitz teams are meta teams. So, most of them. So you can see, I have a 284k Brotherhood team. Now, as of the time of this video, Toad and Blob will be coming out. Uh, I know for a fact that I will not be getting Toad and Blob anywhere near as strong as Mystique and Sabretooth. So... Am I, am I supposed to 
break this team up because it's not the meta. No, I'm just going to unlock Toad and Blob at my leisure. Uh, I'll work on them as interesting, you know, if I enjoy them. I do really enjoy Toad's kit. He looks great, so I will probably put a lot of effort into him. Blob, a little bit less great, but, you know, it is what it is. And I'm going to, you know, replace them as time goes on. Um, my Guardian's team is exactly what it looks like. Uh, I might bring Groot up, but th there's very little chance I'm going to invest in Mantis. Um, just characters I have left over. I don't really need to use them anywhere right now. Thanos will be part of the Black Order and used to unlock, I believe, the Black Knight later in the year. So, like, I look forward to having a use for him. Uh, and, of course, I could go ahead and put them somewhere else. But, you know, if the team wins for Blitz, it doesn't really matter. These are leftover teams you'll see like hey look it's it's a 240k uh, Sh fury shield team well why don't you bring them up like well i don't really want to you know they're on they're sitting on defense right now for the most part with this colson maybe i can make colson a little stronger but why you know I, you know what i mean x-men 217 why do i leave them here because they still beat colson so i don't feel the need to invest in them and i could easily put cyclops in here for one of these characters but also i don't need to i'm actually at a really nice point in my roster where i only invest in a team now when it's not doing what i need it to and i know plenty of people even in my alliance that have three four hundred k x-men teams and they're just like i have no regrets i'm like that's cool no like that's awesome because it's great that they have a team so strong that they can absolutely obliterate the right fight in war or crush a, a mutant or a mystic lane in in a gamma raid i guess or uh, beta you know so that's great like all this is positive for them for me i get my enjoyment out of bringing teams up to a certain point here's my shame please don't laugh too hard even my defenders i started working on my defenders when i hit three and a half million tcp and now they're one of my stronger teams. I don't enjoy them. I don't like them. But I went through pretty much most of the game as a spender uh, without ever having a strong defenders team. And, uh, you know, I didn't feel the need to have them much. It was a different game, though. My goal is to bring every team to 200K and preferably as, as close to balanced as I can, all things considered. Um, but I can't work on certain things. I can't work on Elsa Bloodstone uh, because currently she's unfarmable. So while I would like to invest gear into her, I know that she's not getting a lot of stars. So that's an entire avenue of growth she doesn't have access to right now. So I feel like any gear I put into her as a mystic character, I believe, uh, would be better placed into a, a different mystic. Oh, oh, no, I have to put couple of points into these guys do you see so so that's that's my takeaway that's what this four million plus uh video is going to be for you you know i'll give you a tour of I'm, I'm sorry i wish we had more save slots so i could show off more teams we don't um i can give you a quick like tour of a roster at five million and you'll see that red stars high investment there's no characters. The only character I haven't unlocked right now is Symbiote Spider-Man and can't even see. I'll just move him up. Boop, a little bit higher. Boop, and I'm about to. Uh, Blob, Ironheart, and Toad, they're brand new. I'll get them as they come. No problem there. No worries, but see the bottom of my roster? The characters I really haven't been working on, the AIM characters and the high, well, the AIM character and the Hydra characters that have just recently been reworked. I'm going to do this at my leisure. I'm going to enjoy it and I'm going to bring up teams that I want to and I'm going to make all my teams 200K. And then when all my teams are 200K, I'm going to make all my teams 250K, starting with the ones that are highest impact. And that's how my growth is going to be. So in this video, I want for you, uh, whether you're 4 million, 5 million, 8 million, uh, or 2 million, 3 million, I want to get kind of your feedback. You know, what do you want to see when you reach this level or so? What do you, what does your 4 million look like? Are you over 4 million or at 4 million now and kind of not sure what to do? Um, because in that case, I would recommend war. War teams now, war is unfortunately the 
game mode that is the most supported by character kits and reworks and everything they do seems to be war driven and nothing else. So at this point, just make stronger war teams, whether they be offensive teams or defensive teams. That's that's a great step in the right direction. Farm gear, finish off characters. You'll also notice that uh, of all of the characters I have, you know, Human Torch is waiting for an upgrade. Shield Assault is waiting for that seventh star, as is Wasp, actually. Kind of shameful, but plenty of my characters are waiting for that seventh star that I just haven't spent. You know, maybe maybe Scientist Supreme is the next character that I spend 500,000 gold to uh, to star up. But as of right now, on my U7 team, I'm doing five or six nodes with no heals. I say five or six because tech tech node is not great. But you know, I'm 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 clearing the nodes with no heals, maybe an energy or two, but no heals. So I don't feel the need to spend five hundred thousand gold, a resource that we get very limited access to in this game, to make her number show up stronger. She's surviving well enough. Now, as time progresses, that's I'm going to rank her up. We all know that. And you will probably find the same situation. You'll start worrying about or working on characters that you need to farm up. Um, you'll notice characters that are just unfarmable are kind of stuck where they are. Uh, and then you'll see characters like Namor and Colossus. You know, I, I'm sure I can farm Colossus over the next couple of days. Falcon is, I think, close. And... Um, that's basically what I'm going to be doing. So what are you going to be doing? Comment below. Let me know. Let me know what your plans are for after 4 million. Let me know what you're doing now that you're after 4, 5, 6 million. And uh, let me know if I miss something, you know, especially if you are at my power or so and you're watching this video because you just wanted to see like, oh, no, that's true. Like, what are you working on? Whether it be through money or through time or effort or spending, it's it's just teams now, right? Like that's that's my understanding anyway, and uh, I don't think many people would disagree that it is really just about teams and making sure your teams and you're capable of uh, entering the right game modes. This is the end game. The end game will constantly shift, hopefully quickly, because they don't uh, release that much content uh, in general. But hopefully they'll start releasing more content to make the end game lively and responsive, to make it feel that. Well, I'm 4 million now. Now I'm 5 million in a couple of months. And now the content that I'm facing that I was having a hard time with is easy. And now there's a new thing I can work on. Other than that, I really don't have much else to say. Now that said, uh, this video uh, is only going to be here for as long as 4 million becomes the stopping point. You know what I mean? Like when four, when there becomes no major difference between a four million, a five million, blah, blah, blah. As the game progresses, that's going to change. It's more likely that four million, as there's more legendary characters and as they introduce super legendaries and with, the, I assume, Dark Dimension 4 having access to a character, hopefully this time it'll be Doom. But, you know, that will become a new Ultron, a new endgame a new goal dark dimension 3 is already a new goal towards end game and it doesn't seem very rewarding but it's still an end game goal that will help you progress in a different way and i imagine people who are finishing dark dimension 3 are going to see very large jumps in their overall roster compared to you know players who just finished dark dimension 2 at about 3 million so Keep that in mind as you as you build your roster out. And it, the, the TLDR uh, is just remember, it's about teams. It's about how much you can build and how much you can do, especially for your alliance. And it's about being a little discerning, at least from my perspective. Make sure that you're not wasting resources because, unfortunately, while this isn't a resource management game, this is a hero collector game, this game has way more resource management elements in it than most games of its class uh, there's a lot of bottlenecks and they really not only don't want the whales to progress very easily which is a common trope in gotcha games but they also don't really want anyone to progress they want people to feel like uh the content is new and which is why they you know change things in the background and, and move the goalposts without necessarily giving anybody extra stuff 
it, it's just their design. And unless they make a huge change in their culture and decide there's a better way they want to produce this game, it's what we're going to have to do. So we're going to have to find our own fun. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I want you guys to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. If you have anything to say, say it down below. You know I'll watch it. And I'm usually pretty good at commenting back or replying, especially if you have any questions. Uh, if not, stop by my Discord or my stream. Bring up what you think. Uh, have a good night. Have a great day. I've been Tony Scangili, and thanks for watching.